The presence of the Ukrainian army in the Kursk region allowed Russians to take a new look at the Russian Federation, noting the charm of life without the control of Putin's authorities. A video recorded by a Russian in the Kursk region liberated from the Russian regime has appeared on the internet. While recording the video, the man admitted that he had gone over to the Ukrainian side and felt relieved after the Ukrainian armed forces arrived. He does not want to live in Russia, where murderers rule, emphasizing that he does not accept the accusation of treason since he considers those who serve Putin's regime traitors. I want all of Russia to be like this without Putin, he noted. Some residents in the Ukrainian occupied zone are oblivious to the Kremlin's responsibility for their plight and appear to genuinely believe that President Vladimir Putin is unaware of what is happening in Kursk, according to the Center for European Policy Analysis. Natalia, one resident of Kursk, along with other Ukrainian and Western journalists, has been accused by the Russian FSB of illegally crossing the border to report on areas controlled by Ukraine. Needless to say, this is a predictably myopic Kremlin interpretation of legality, not least because Russia has spent 10 years sending armed forces across the border of a state whose existence it has long recognized. She doesn't care about the charges, she said, but worries about possible consequences elsewhere. I only hope other countries will not act on any decisions from a terrorist state because I still travel around the world, she said. Primarily, I do it to speak on behalf of Ukraine and its people. I have been to Canada, the US and Italy to remind them there is a war in Ukraine. She wants to be sure that the world will not be searching for me if Russia hands this case over to Interpol, she said. We didn't just go as journalists to see what was happening there. We went to accompany humanitarian aid for the residents of those areas. We ensured that Ukraine adhered to the Geneva Conventions. In any case, a criminal case in Russia against someone in Ukraine, it can only be seen as a compliment, not a threat, she added. A group of people staged a protest rally in Mongolia's capital Ulaanbaatar on Tuesday amid Russian President Vladimir Putin's visit to the country. The protesters gathered outside of the government palace in the capital, holding Ukrainian flags and chanting the slogans, Get away, or criminal Putin out of here. The protest was held amid the Mongolian government's refusal to arrest Putin on an international warrant for war crimes committed in Ukraine. The small-scale protest was later dispersed by law enforcers. It should be noted that Mongolia is a member of the International Criminal Court, which issued an arrest warrant against Putin over war crimes in Ukraine. The court alleges that Russian leader Vladimir Putin failed to stop the unlawful deportation of children from Ukraine to Russia since the conflict began over two years ago. Prior to the visit, Ukraine urged Mongolia to arrest Vladimir Putin. However, the Kremlin said it had no worries about the visit. Ну, 